My name is Cheryl Estabrook, and I'm a member of the First Parish Venerated Church in South Broad, Maine. I have chosen to speak to you today about why Psalm 121 is important to me. Let me read it to you now. I lift up my eyes to the mountains. Where does my help come from? My help comes from the Lord, the maker of heaven and earth. He will not let your foot slip. He who watches over you will not slumber. Indeed, he who watches over Israel will neither slumber nor sleep. The Lord watches over you. The Lord is your shade at your right hand. The sun will not harm you by day, nor the moon by night. The Lord will keep you from all harm. He will watch over your life. The Lord will watch over your coming and going, both now and forevermore. God will never let us stumble, slip or fall. He is, ne he is ever watching, never sleeping. It's a trust by faith in someone we cannot see. This psalm was one of my mother's favorites, if not her favorite. And I believe she leaned on it throughout her adult life. My dad died when my brother was eight and I wasn't quite three. I remember my mom told me once, probably when I was in my later teens, that she would say this psalm as she walked up the street to the store and she would pray to God to help her through a problem or concern she was having at the time. And somehow it worked out. Later on in my life, I decided that perhaps I should search for a psalm that would relate specifically to me in case what I was doing was claiming this one just because it was my mom's favorite. The more I read other Psalms and the more I reread Psalm 121, I decided that it in fact did speak to me more than I realized, especially when my mom, who was my best friend, passed away. Soon though, God sent me a friend to help me through my loss. Clayton and I grew, were friends growing up, never expecting that we would one day be married, but we did get married and had a wonderful life together up until the day he died from cancer, about 14 years later. The day before he died, his mother was there during the day and friends were there with us throughout the night, helping to keep him comfortable and letting him know he was loved. Suddenly I was a widow, something else that made me identify with my mom even more. I didn't consider moving at first when it was suggested that I needed a neighborhood I wasn't listening to the Holy Spirit in the voices of friends and relatives. However, after several years in the home I shared with Clayton, I was feeling very isolated and called out to God for help with my grief for my husband and my mom. In 2 Samuel 22, verse 7, David said, In my distress I called to the Lord, I called out to my God, from his temple, he heard my voice. My cry came to his ears. When I decided to sell the house, friends were very happy for me. And so many helped me out of one house and into a new home in a neighborhood. I actually feel that God led me to the home I now have in the neighborhood that I needed so badly. He even gave me a good friend across the road. Exodus 14, verse 14 says, the Lord will fight for you. You need only be still. God made us. He loves us and wants what's best for us. Where does my help come from? My help comes from the Lord, the maker of heaven and earth. Thank you and God bless you all.